Hi, Ron from Clarity. In this video, we'll cover a client integration that we did integrating NetSuite and Zoho CRM for a real estate client of ours. This integration covered many different business workflows, such as wiping compare dates, refreshing database entries, syncing products, properties, proprietors, invoices, orders, and a full sales sync. Let's first start in NetSuite, where we can see our list of proprietors, where over in Zoho, our proprietor list is currently blank. We'll head over to Connect and check the box to sync proprietors and click Trigger Now. We head over to the Processing Jobs queue and see our job is being queued. So we'll drill in and watch it start processing our list. We'll hop back over to Zoho and hit Refresh and we can see that four proprietor records are already in the list. Three seconds later, we hit Refresh again and now there's seven. Refresh again and now there's ten. So we can see that it's actively syncing over our proprietors. Now, one of the capabilities of Connect is that it has numerous configurable threads that can run simultaneously. For example, to process additional proprietors or something completely separate. This allows us to go back into Connect while our proprietor sync is running and select the sync properties pipeline and trigger it to run now. Now, if we had re-triggered the same proprietor sync again, it still would have run. Thread 1 would have initially started the sync by looking at the list of records to be synced and seeing how big it is, assign itself the first, say, 100 records of the 1000 to sync and start processing those records. If thread 2 ran the same sync while thread 1 was still processing, it would have seen the entire list and as it went to assign itself records to sync, it would have bypassed all the ones already assigned until it came to record 101 and then it would have assigned itself records 101 to 200 and start processing those. We've got one client currently processing up to 60,000 syncs an hour and has 64 worker threads running sync simultaneously. Back to Connect, we drill into our new process and see that it's running the property sync. As we head over to Zoho, we'll check the accounts view where the properties will show up and we can see that three property records have been synced so far. Next, we'll drill into the proprietor record that was synced by thread one and see some of the data that was written to Zoho, including the proprietor owner, email address, who created the record, the proprietor's name, NetSuite ID, sales rep, address sold, sale status, in this case, close one, and much more. It's also associated the record to the physical property that was sold from the property that was synced over by thread two. So to review, we verified all our proprietor records existed in NetSuite, but not in Zoho. We triggered the sync proprietor records in Connect and watch it live as we refresh the page in Zoho every few seconds to see multiple new records brought over after each refresh. We then triggered a second simultaneous process to sync the property records, went back into Zoho and saw that three of the properties had been brought over within the first few seconds. We then drilled into a proprietor record to see some of the data that was brought over from NetSuite, as well as some of the new data created by Connect, such as the modified by, created by, and the timestamps of the syncs. Finally, we saw the link being made between the proprietors that were being synced and the properties that were also being synced to come full circle with our integration validation. So that's a quick demo of a bi-directional integration between NetSuite and Zoho CRM, which is also set up to clear dates and databases, as well as sync products, accounts, invoices, and orders. Thanks for watching.